earlier this week, a woman come on the show say she got like 300,000 in debt in like 18 months or something Whoa. on your show. Yeah. And, uh, and I, maybe it was 300, maybe it was 170, 170,000, I think it was, that she got out of debt in 18 months. And the amount of peace that she had in her facial expression and her body language around being debt free from these, I guess, bad debts uh, really looked empowering on what she was capable of doing now without that debt weighing her down. And I'm curious, before we get into the next, uh, the fifth habit, how does someone develop that that belief that they can pay down their debts if it seems so daunting and so overwhelming? Realizing that you're not alone, I think, is a really important step. Too many people feel like, well, my situation is different and I'm unique and I'm special and they don't get it. But then I meet people every day and I get in a Financial Peace University class and there's all these other people who made money mistakes. And I go, oh, I'm not alone. I'm not, a, I'm not the only idiot out there. Yeah. I'm not the only average George out there. That to me is encouraging because it tells me that this path is something that other people have done before me, that will come after me, and that I can do this too. And so I think it's important to get other people around you. And that might mean cutting out some toxic friends right, right. who are not trying to be on that journey. Sure. Finding people who aren't trying to live on less than they make. That's an important piece. And the other piece 